Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is some gameplay from Homefront. Now, as you might know, I've actually uh, really gotten into this game again after it's actually running quite smoothly on my computer. So, um, I what can I say? I'm really enjoying it. In this video, I wanted to talk about something that Stone Face Lock talked in a re talked about in a recent video of his where he just explains that he's an objective player and uh, and that he plays objective no matter what. He doesn't care about his kill-death ratio. All that matters to him is actually winning the game. And <clears throat> that uh, to him, that means that he might get, get a really horrible KDR, but as long as he wins, all all's good. Uh, he might get a outrageous KDR but lose the game and to him that's a lo that's a loss and of course the game says a, says it's a loss but still he gets upset he gets you know he gets uh, sad I would almost say when he loses a game even though he might do great KDR uh, if you look at the KDR but but when it comes to the um, to the score of the game if it's something like domination or conquest or ground control or whatever it's called if he loses he really loses I, I mean even if he does great KDR, uh, KDR wise he it's still a loss you know and he kind of rages on people that only care about the KDRs and don't care about uh, playing the objectives when they're playing an objective play uh, game mode, and I've kind of talked about this before, but it's it's um it's really great to see that <laughs> to see others thinking the same way too. And there's also always the the argument that people should be able to play the game however they want as long as they've bought it. So if people want to go into a Say ground control uh, ma game like I'm do uh, like I do here, and just run around, uh, or just lay in the corner or up on one of these hills, just sniping and not contributing. That's their choice. And while this is true that yes, of course they they should be able to play the game however they want, it doesn't mean that they have to ruin the game for other players. If they want to uh, lie back in the hills and snipe, play. Team Deathmatch instead, because that's a game mode that uh, that where the objective is actually to kill other people, and if you do that um, in your own way, go ahead. But if it's an, an an objective game mode like this, please contribute to the team and not just lay back and camp, because that doesn't really contribute. You might think so. You might think that you're actually contributing in your own way. You're really not. <laughs> so, please help us out on the objectives. Now, I'm not. I'm the first one to admit that I'm not the perfect player. I mean, sometimes when I I'm playing, I might just go balls out and go for the uh, go for a lot of kills, which I sometimes do. I admit. I mean, I'm not perfect because sometimes I <laughs> I'll get a little carried away and I just go on a rampage, taking down people. I left and right and center and I'm just kicking ass and I'm feeling so good and <laughs> I, I can get that I mean seriously sometimes you just forget yourself and just have a lot of fun doing uh, something that you know is not benefiting the team necessarily but still overall I always try to play the objective and I always get annoyed when people do not play the objective and I, I, I'm I mean if I'm going on one of these the hills back there and just uh, taking out all the snipers which are annoying the shit out of my team, I'm not necessarily contributing to my team, but you know, it's one less thing that for them to kind of um, be annoyed about. And uh, I know that I could probably do more, uh, be more of a help if I were on one of the objectives trying to hold it down or trying to capture it. But you know, I'm still um, I'm having a little bit of fun, and I'm I'm that's kind of this discretion. Um, I mean, digression in the middle of the game. So I don't know, guys. But 
back to my point. Um, when playing the objective, KDR shouldn't matter. I mean, the only time that KDR should matter is when you're playing TDM or some game mode of the kind. And by the way, when did KDR really show that you're a good player? Um, the only time that KDR can really show that you're a good player is if you're only playing team death matches. If you're playing objective modes, the KDR doesn't tell you shit, other than you're probably just sitting back in a corner camping. Because if you're rocking a, I don't know, 6.0 KDR, that may only show that you're camping in a corner waiting for people to run by you and you take them out. Which doesn't show that you're a good player. It just shows that you're good at hiding, and how is that helping out the team? I really believe that a win, the win-loss ratio is a much better indicator if you're a good player or not. It's a hell of a lot better indicator to tell if a player actually plays the objective, if, he, if he's actually helping out his team. Because if he has a high win-loss ratio, it means that he is more uh, he's most often on the winning team and to be most often on the winning team you usually have to contribute to your team winning of course you might all he might always be playing with um, uh, friends that are really good at the game and that and that uh, help him win or he might the one be the one carrying the team to a victory and therefore increasing his win-loss ratio. So overall, the win-loss ratio is a hell of a lot better indicator of um, the skill level or the, the well, yes, really, the skill level of a player than uh, the uh, KDR ever was and ever will be because it's such a arbitrary number. I mean, it doesn't show real skill. It just shows that you're able to either outsmart your opponents, outgun them, or outhide them, <laughs> if you want. So, just stop measuring, you know, good game, uh, good gameplay by its KDR. It's really the win-loss ratio that I feel that can really show the skill of a player. Well, that's the end of the clip, guys. I hope to see you next time. Snackus.